Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers review video. Uh, this is an interesting review video because it is a starting review of a system that I have decided I am going to try and counter. And that is coming from Last End Gamers, and that is uh, this monstrosity here. This, yes, this is Aaron from Last End Gamers, Railgun Drone. Uh, yes, it, it is missing some blocks. <laughs> You'll have to put some of those on when you get it done. Now, what I've done with this is I've just added the AI movement block, um, the AI basic task block, and the AI attack block. And you can look down here. You can see bolts of railgun energy popping. And you see we have one fleeting rival down here. Now, looking at this drone here, if I were to hop off here and take a look at it, it is pretty interesting how this thing is designed. It's got about four nuclear reactors set up. I think Aaron said this thing holds up to about 15 rounds of railgun ammo per small container, which is not bad. This thing carries well over 120 rounds of railgun ammunition and they can there, there is no drop in power as this thing is operating it's actually got more generators looking at it um <clears throat> checking this thing out it runs two i'm guessing two thruster or four thrusters for downward movement a single thruster for side to side two for forward two for back uh, none for up and down. So if you build this, you're going to have to put, uh, I'd say just put one hydrogen thruster pointing up and it will work. Uh, some people have seen this and they, they've seen a problem with it. It's got two cameras, but it is a, it, it, it isn't just fast. It's quick. This thing can maneuver rather quickly. And if you look down here, I don't know if you can see it or not. Did they take that thing out? Oh, the fleeting rival is dead. Where did they go? Huh. I may be over here killing this base out here in just a second. Anyway, we're, we're going to head over here to this base in a minute. I'm going to show you what these things are good for and why I, I what, what I'm going to do in the video is I'm going to basically attempt to counter this thing uh, with some sort of base defensive systems. Uh, not with a base, but I'm going to try and use a drone that will attack it. There will be... I don't know how many parts this is going to be because first off, I got to design the drone to attack this thing and kill it, and then I've got to build, uh, strat use the AI system to strategize because I think I can use that to strategize it. But let's go over here and see what you would use this for. It's not good for small ships because that fleeting rival took forever to take down. Look in here, I don't see him anywhere, so he's probably done. We'll do a quick run over this direction to this SPRT headquarters, and I'll show you what these things can actually do. And so now you can see why these things are so dangerous. It's also hard to hit them. Now, machine guns will probably work hitting them at some point, but they are so quick. And let me explain the difference here between quick and fast. Anything can be fast, and any car can be fast if you give it time to build up. Being quick is just how fast you get up the accelerator. And you see right there, the drones are just hitting targets. Now, one of them has been hit by another target, but the concept here, and the reason I want to run a small drone that will attack these things and go out and hunt them down is because as soon as they run into the first enemy, they will target that first. So even if a bunch of these come in, you look, you can see these things. These are not bugs. I, I Sometimes I, I'm sitting here playing with these and I've thought that there was some type of gnat or something running across my screen. That's not what's going on. Uh, these are actual, just the drones. It looks like little bugs flying around and little bees attacking. But <clears throat> you can see right there also what's happening also is the... the one gun that seems to be highly effective is not the missiles. It seems to be the actual Gatlin guns. So, 
What we're going to try and do is build something with Gatlin guns. You can see we've got drones coming down. And some of them are actually dropping into the enemy. But you can see this is just nightmarish the way these things are operating. They're finding targets, they're hitting, and they're tearing through the entire base. But like I said, what we I think the best defense against these things is going to be a drone that can put guns onto the target and still be able to engage these drones and take them out. Looking through here, we're going to hear a lot of noise. You can see just the sheer amount of damage we've got going on. And if they keep this up, the rail guns are designed to engage the uh, power supply. Anyway, yeah, like I said, the rail guns are designed to engage the power supply. You see one of them coming down here. It got too close, and the miniguns actually did a moderate amount of damage to this thing. And it looks like the miniguns are going to take it out. So, minigun turrets are probably going to be the best last line of defense probably also the um one of those turrets the interior turrets because they're good at hitting small targets uh small ships like fighters and stuff like that and i think they're still good at it uh custom drones will help you kill it a lot faster uh but like i said it is still a it's it's a drone that's still a pain in the ass if it can be deployed properly you can see here, this base is working. I think it's working because of just the sheer number of guns, and they are getting close. If we were to set this thing to maximum range, meaning it would not engage the target, it would stay out of range of the... And like I said, I just, I just threw the AI blocks on and turned this thing loose. If I set the AI blocks to the maximum range, say it break off range at 1,000 meters and then turn these things on, none of these weapon systems would even get a shot off. So I think the best option to countering a railgun drone is to go out and meet the railgun drone, which means we're going to need an AI that can utilize certain tactics. And I've got an idea for the tactics. We just need a weapon system, and I'm going to employ the gimbaled drone or the gimbaled gun so that when we engage with this thing, as it comes in, it's just going to lock on all three guns smoke most of the systems real quick maybe do enough damage to this drone that it'll kill it and then it'll break off and there's a way I think I can make it break off from the target that will give it the tactical edge in battle so anyway folks tell me what you think about this you know using the AI drones these AI railgun drones do you think they're as dangerous as uh, people say they are uh, I know some people have talked about you know if you've got a, a base that's a ship you could very easily just dodge these things. You can see right now, if they get in close range of the guns, it will destroy them. But like I said, the danger of these drones is not <clears throat> is not the danger to other systems. You can see that one just fired. Nothing's engaging it yet. You can't hear any gunfire. So one of them is at a distance. Once it hits the maximum point, it hits the retreat point. If you increase the retreat point to where it turns and starts running away from the base at the max beyond maximum range of the guns, none of your base defense system. See, this thing's getting off two shots as it's coming in. It's doing damage as it comes into the base. And if you set these things up right, they can be really lethal. But we need something that can, one, detect them, and then two, actually engage and fight with them. So we're going to have to build a drone. And I'll have that drone ready and it'll be a counter drone to this drone somehow. I don't know how we're going to do it. But you can see it's now getting in closer. It's gotten off three shots so far. And it's probably going to get off a fourth before it gets within range of the base. And four railgun rounds are going to do tremendous damage. Especially if they hit something vital. Like right now it's attempting to charge. I think I set these things to target power. So if it takes out all most of your power. We have four shots now as it's coming in. If we have something on the range of hitting power, now the base defenses are now firing at it. And it looks like it just took a missile right to the face. But right now, we just wasted... It's, it's still in the air, actually. And it's dodging, but it is taking machine gun fire. I don't think it'll last very long. Once, yeah, now it's in pieces. It's been destroyed now. 
But like I said, they're very dangerous to a base if we go over here and look. You can see the damage of railguns is not... It's not a an amount of, oh, hey, look, we're hitting you with a large amount of area surface damage. It's penetrative damage. And you can see here, we've had penetration damage deep into the base. If it hit even one of these... Um, okay, we're going to back off from that. Uh, if it hits one of these things... That was my fault. It, it was not the game. That was not the drones. That was my fault. But if it hits one of these, see, they were automatically trying to target. You can see damage here from where they were trying to shoot railguns through and hit the battery blocks that were in this thing. If they manage to hit your battery blocks, you're pretty much done. You can see damage to a lot of the structure here. And this is, this is the danger of these things as they come in. And if they're set properly, they will start just ripping through. You see here, it was attempting to target other systems. It attempted to target, I think, these battery blocks down here. So, set them up to target certain weapon systems. They will begin firing at them almost immediately. And that will just cause you a lot of problems. It, it'll make you, it'll give you a bad day. But anyway, folks, tell me what you think in the comments. I am going to use the gimbal system that we've come up with uh, and develop an AI drone that can be deployed from base reach out, engage this sucker, because I honestly believe that's the best way to fight these drones. Uh, the best way to fight them is going to be having a weapon system that can be deployed from base that will take off and engage the target and take the fight to the enemy. Because even if these things get close, if they target your drones and try to act defensively, that's that's one of the ways you, you win fights. Uh, <clears throat> if this drone attacks defensively towards another drone coming in, it'll concentrate on that drone. If we can maximize the amount of time it takes for that drone, the defensive drone, to attack that the railgun drone and take it out, I believe we can make something that can neutralize them pretty effectively. Anyway... Tell me what you think. Give me some ideas. Once again, I am Badger Wild saying thank you for watching the video. If you're new, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Helps out the channel, boosts us up, and helps grow this thing, which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get to one. We're trying to get to 1,100 and well, not 1,100. We're trying to get to 1,500 subscribers. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, that's the new. That's the new stretch goal. 1,500. If I can get to that, we'll be doing pretty good. Anyway, folks. Thank you all for watching on this Monday. And as usual, this is Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty, and I am signing out.